Hello and welcome back to another extremely special, important installment. We have maybe the most special guest that we've had on the entire channel since the conception, inception of the channel. Sorry to everyone else who's been a featured guest, but today we have the long-awaited appearance of my boyfriend, Taylor. Hello. So today we are gonna do a little bit of Reddit Would You Rather. And just to clear the air before we even get started, I just wanna say that I am standing on a stool that's about <laughs> six inches tall and I just wanna show you what it's like. So this is... <laughs> okay, so we're not doing that. Like that's out of the question. That's not happening. It's super unnatural. It's really unnatural. It, it's like no one freakish. Should be, no one should be that short. No one should be that <laughs> short. At least on camera, no one should be that short. Yeah. And to christen this special episode, I made some mojitos for us. Um, so it's time for the taste. Cheers. 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 Nice drop. Ooh. 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 It's pretty good. Let's just kick it off with something like just like a regular question, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's just regular, you know. I haven't read it yet, but I've been like glancing at it and I do see the word come in the title. <laughs> so I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure how regular it's gonna be. I'm um, trying not to spoil it, but like I know that yeah. there's something mm, something sinister something <laughs> lurking. Sinister, <laughs> something sinister within the title. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna start out nice and easy. Would you rather have the ability to shoot unlimited mac and cheese and wings out of your wrist like Spider-Man, or make anyone instantly come by shooting finger guns at them? Um, I'm gonna have to choose like shooting unlimited mac and cheese because I wouldn't want to do that to someone. I mean, it's like <laughs> seems like sexual assault. <laughs> To, like, just do it's it. a violation. It's a true violation. Like, the way they phrase it, I imagine, like, I'm out on the street, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I think it's basically, it's it's the scene in Spider-Man 3 or whatever, where he's dark Spider-Man, and he's on the street doing his whole little, like, dance, and he's shooting <laughs> finger guns at people. That's probably the inspiration. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People are totally melting to it. I've yeah. never seen the movie, so. I haven't seen it either. <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean, I'm seeing someone on the street, I'm not wishing that upon them. I'm not even yeah. really wishing that upon an enemy. You're not even thinking Maybe about it. Maybe <laughs> a lover, like, then it's like, oh, I can do this cool trick, you yeah. know, I can, you know, just let you, you know, yeah. just kind of drop you at any yeah. time. But uh, <laughs> I think I'd rather just, like, I'm hungry, I snag mac and cheese and wings like yeah. i don't want it every day yeah but uh unlimited yeah you know maybe once a week yeah we could eat that <laughs> for free yeah. yeah that's pretty this seems like a not even a question for me yeah it's kind of ludicrous i i'm gonna have to agree with you on this one like i honestly don't even want mac and cheese and wings almost ever that's like a once a year occasion that like i would have that meal it's like so much mm -hmm. but i just can't imagine any scenarios where it would be appropriate for me to be like finger gun coming people <laughs> yeah. there's like anyone that i pass on the street and it's also like how much control do you have of this power like are you just you hit it, but then someone walks by, like, 85-year-old grandpa walks by, like, right behind the person you're trying to hit, and then he's just like... <laughs> you <laughs> he, just, he just goes down. <laughs> you just take someone out on accident. Yeah. A, uh, a misfire. A misfire. It's always a misfire for them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's kind of the definitive answer to that one. Yeah. There could be I, no question. Yeah, I don't see anyone choosing the other unless they've got something really sinister planned. Okay, would you rather get paid $10,000 to fuck an immediate family member or $30 every day you don't have sex? Um, $30 every day I don't have sex. Yes, yeah, it's easy. It's an easy answer. I'm not, like, hurting for money that badly, and I can just, over the course of my entire life, be, like, cashing checks for $30. Yeah. Just, like, constantly. It's like, I have close to $10,000 in, in the bank, and $30 a day. That really adds. Like, that really adds up. Yeah, it could add up. It's like, just every time I don't do it, but it's not saying it's like, only with a cumulative streak, that's pretty good. It's definitely a question, like, geared at people who are like, oh, I have sex every day of the week, so that would be a no-go for me. I could I, possibly. <laughs> I could possibly go one day without 30 bucks, that's not even worth it to me, bro. Yeah, or if, like, your pet just got injured and you have to pay for their medical bill and you need $10,000. Like, if your hamster just broke its leg or something, <laughs> <laughs> you have to get, like, emergency. Yeah, there's pretty much <laughs> like, no situation. Surgery. 10 grand? 
is not worth it. Not worth it. Like, I can't think an immediate family member too. Yeah. Like this is someone like first, like one degree yeah. of separation. Like talk to me with like a million. A hundred thousand dollars would be like the minimum that's even worth talking about. Yeah. It's not even worth talking about for less than a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. So miss me with that. Like I'm not destitute. Yeah. <laughs> Um, would you rather become a Lego or get shot with a gun? I'll get shot with a gun. I might not die and I can keep living. That's true. If I'm a Lego, I'm not, there's no self anymore. Yeah. I have ego death mm. and I'm a Lego. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. I think like in this scenario, I'm choosing to become a Lego and like, I'm going to imagine that like the world becomes a Lego with me or at least like there's Lego features that I can be a part of so I can just like clip onto a wall. I like to change my hair up. Mm -hmm. So I can just like, <laughs> yeah, pop on a new hairstyle. Yeah. Or like even a new, I just like new facial expression. I'm like, and then I'm like. That would be pretty lit. See, I wasn't imagining that you're a mini figure. Oh, I'm a mini figure for sure. I'm not like I a was, Lego piece. I thought no. you were a brick. No. You're just a brick. No. One of many. Absolutely not. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm like Harry Potter even maybe, and then I could build stuff pretty good probably. I'd probably be good at building. Yeah. yeah, your whole life would be building. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is anyway. <laughs> I'm always grinding and building, yeah. you know? Yeah, always wake up and grind, yeah. always building, whatever. I, I always wake you up every morning and I say, what are we building today? <laughs> 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 All right, would you rather take 200 grand guaranteed or take a chance at flipping a coin for 40 million? Uh, if you lose, you get nothing. So for me, I'm taking the 200k because I have like terrible luck when it comes to gambling and contests and stuff like I never win anything I always do terribly so the 40 million is as good as gone and I think part of it is like you have to believe and like I can't believe my history won't allow me to believe mm -hmm. like I can't get there is this 200k tax free hello is it tax free or is this tax as a bonus <laughs> so in this <laughs> In this scenario, it's tax free. So I'm taking my 200K. I'm investing. That's my Ferrari money. Yeah. That's my Ferrari startup money. Yeah. And I'm investing it and I'm building. I'm drop shipping. Yeah. You know? yeah. And it, within a year, I have 40 million. Yeah. Like, what are you doing with that 40 million or that zero, that goose egg? Yeah. So true. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's actually pretty tough, this one. 40 million is a lot. So I think I'm taking the 50 50. It's a actually. lot. It's yeah. too much. Yeah. I don't need all that. That's 50, scary. 50 50 final answer. Someone would kill me if I got going. 40 million. <sighs> okay, this question is a tough one. Which ghost would you always have following you around? Only you can see and hear them. So I'm having trouble thinking of anyone who's dead. Anyone? Anyone at all. Frida Kahlo, Albert Einstein, Jeffrey Epstein, if we believe that. I don't. Personally, I don't. <laughs> um, Queen Elizabeth III. Yeah, but all these suggestions Princess sounds, Diana. They all sound like really annoying to have like following me around. Who just likes to like get high and party? Mm. That's who I want to be following me. Snoop Dogg, but... He's alive, he's unfortunately. Alive. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. I mean, fortunately, but you know, unfortunately for the question. For the question, yeah. Yeah, I think like... Someone who wouldn't be annoying and can provide me like actual utility in my day-to-day -day life and I think I'm gonna say Anthony Bourdain mm. um, Because it's a sexy answer. I know because then I'm like cooking something and he'll be like no You can't do it like that. Yeah, and maybe he'll step me. in But maybe he'll step in yeah and cook for me. You think he'll ratatouille you? He could ratatouille <laughs> me as a ghost. He'll be just like He'll be like this. Be your arms <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's true. That's true and fair. Mm. And so what about you? Martin Luther King? Now that you've said it, it's like, is it fucked up for me? Yeah. Like, no! <laughs> Fuck no! Not, Not him. him! Anyone but him! Yeah. <laughs> it's too much pressure. Yeah. Like, I'm not like a, I'm not like a cool, like, nice person, you know? <laughs> I'm just like regular. Like, I'm picking Joan Rivers because she can help me hone my comedy craft and mm -hmm. she'd probably like be body shaming me all the time too keeping me skinny keeping me thin so that'd be cool that'd yeah be cool. that'd be kind of cool i don't even know who that is moving on okay <laughs> okay <laughs> would you rather have bland mediocre sex whenever you wanted or 10 out of 10 sex once a month 
In both instances, only one partner. Me. Only one... Oh, well, I already have bland mediocre sex whenever I want it. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Um, All right, so what do you want then? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's an easy like 10 out of 10 once a month because bland mediocre is like, what's even the point, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm just thinking about my mom watching right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stop watching. Stop. Just this one. You can watch like the rest. Or maybe not. <laughs> you know, it's not going to get better. I'll just say what I was going to say. It's like, you can always masturbate, you know? And that's just, like, that's Wait, a choose you. <laughs> oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's like a choose your own adventure, you know? It could be anywhere on the scale from zero to ten, as you choose. So it's like, why not just have, like, one banger every month to look forward to, and mm. then you just take care of business on your own. Because if you're having mediocre sex whenever you want, Either way, your relationship is suffering if you're only having sex once a month or if you're having mediocre sex every day. So it's like, you might as well have like one banger a month versus like the bland sex, you will just choose to never have it. Yeah. No, yeah, I think I completely agree. Um, whenever you want, <laughs> if it's bland and mediocre, it's turning into like, like I never uh, want to. I'm like, meh, right? So like, what's the point of that? Yeah, it's a chore. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, limit it to once a month, um, and just have it be banging. Have one banger bang once a month. Have one banger bang, have one sloppy... Toppy? Toppy sesh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sloppy seshy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All humans will instantly master a skill of your choice. What would you rather it be? Any skill. Any skill? And all humans will be now the goat. All the humans? Yeah. Everyone on Earth. So it's not special anymore, but like everyone could be really good at something. My first instinct was to go with everyone's good at making peace, but that mm. is so fruity. Very foo-foo lame. Foo-foo <laughs> lame? Yeah, that's some foo-foo <laughs> lame shit. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to go with everyone masters driving. We just take mm. driving danger eliminated. Mm. Okay, masters of driving. No more accidents. Everyone... It's like the Audubon everywhere. We're going fast, but it's so safe. Like, you have not a care in the world, and that's my choice. That's a really good answer. Thank you. I was thinking something more like karate. Oh, <laughs> and karate really... is so, like, of all the MMA, you know? Yeah, I didn't really have, like, a good reasoning for it. Yeah. Just that, like, oh, now everyone knows karate, <clears throat> you know? So it's just, like... Probably, yeah, people, yeah, people, yeah, people, I, people, yeah, people, yeah. People wouldn't like fight as much because you'd be like, oh, everyone is going to be able to defend themselves yeah. with karate. How old does this skill apply? Like born karate? Like babies? Are they All threat? humans instantly mastered, yeah. I mean, babies would be a threat if they could do fucking anything, if they could walk. Yeah, if they weren't so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they know how to, pl how to do karate, but they can't move, mm. but they know it. But they you know? know it, yeah. yeah. Once they move, you better fucking watch out. So it's like a toddler, like, yeah, they know all the moves and everything, but they don't have any strength. Yeah. So that's the thing, like, no one would be strong, necessarily, but they would know how to do karate. So you, you would know the, uh, you know, grab my wrist. Yeah, you have to chop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. My cousin was a black belt in karate when he was 10 years old, and he would be like, you're a gunman at my head. <laughs> <laughs> Got your gun out of the way. <laughs> Here's the thing about karate, is that when I was like eight years old, I took just the first class of karate, you know, the first day where they like have a free class, and then like we all, we all chit chatted afterwards, like my mom and the instructors, and they were like, Gina was the loudest one in the class, and I was like, oh fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, yeah, I was. Like, you that, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. You so, were me, yeah. yeah. You were just like, like... I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well. Yep. Yeah, well, that'll about do it for today. <laughs> Wasn't that so much fun, guys? Didn't we learn so much? That was amazing. Thank you so... If you're still here... <laughs> I love you. You're so hot. 
and um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this guy as a guest. You want to see more of him? I'm just here, you know? I'm just here. Yeah, so... Yeah. Boop, beep, beep, boop, 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 bo